welcome back to Indigo Smokes Tarot and Astrology. Um, I am doing this reading for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North and South Node, anyone with heavy Sagittarius in this chart, in, in their chart. Um, this reading may uh, resonate for you, so stay tuned. Um, I have already cleansed and, you know, shuffled everything, so it's all ready. I did pull a few extra cards um, just to kind of give me insight on what the message and overall energy for this reading is for you, Sagittarius. Um, the first card that I got is the reverse five of wands which is good um while for some of you this may refer to some kind of inner turmoil i do feel like for a lot of the sagittarius um who resonate with this you will you're kind of like overcoming a very you know challenging time like i'm kind of seeing five 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 energy here okay because so, we have the uh, reverse five of wands and we also have the reverse five of pentacles so like i said i do feel like you guys are getting over some kind of hardship okay this could be financial hardship mental emotional spiritual hardship i feel like you're getting over a very trying time okay um and i feel like you're stepping into like really good energy for some of you maybe you've like just been going through like a lot of bullshit and it's like things are finally looking up the light is finally shining on you this is the sun card here i feel like you're if you're not already you'll be stepping back into like some kind of happiness some kind of you know emotionally satisfied energy um for some of you, you could be going in a completely new direction and getting you know um happiness and recognition for something new that you're doing or something um that you've always wanted so i do feel like a lot of you are getting over this rough energy and you're stepping into you know happier more fulfilling content energy all right it's kind of like um you you've gone through a period where you've paid your dues and now you're kind of about to step into an energy of getting those rewards or getting some of the things that you've been wanting i am going to clarify these why is the reverse five of wands here for sagittarius and the overall energy and message okay the reverse king of swords uh clarify the sun card for sagittarius Clarify the Nine of Cups for Sagittarius. Clarify the Reverse Five of Pentacles for Sagittarius. Hmm. Uh, for some of you, this is relationship matters. For others of you, you are kind of at a crossroads in your journey, in your life at this time. But uh, clarifying the Five of Wands, we have the Reverse King of Swords, which I read as... Either someone who can be very, very irrational, um, inconsiderate, insensitive, you know, not knowing how to properly communicate. Or this could also be, you know, um, you could have been dealing with some kind of conflict uh, or hardship in regards to someone who's maybe not very dishonest. Oh, maybe who's not honest. Sorry. Um, the King of Swords for me is someone who plays a lot of mind games, someone who has no problem with lying to get what he wants. Um, and also someone who may not know how to communicate in a sensitive manner. Um, if they do, they can use that in a manipulative way. But definitely the King of Swords, any of the swords in the reverse for me, especially the King of Swords, reverse page of swords, to me that talks about deception um, or just having a very abrasive or insensitive like personality. Um, it could definitely be somebody who uses their intelligence to the dismay of others. So definitely you could have, you know, been in some kind of competition or just dealing with some kind of con conflicting situation where you were dealing with someone who was maybe very abrasive and sensitive or someone who played a lot of, you know, ga uh, games and could have been very dishonest. So, you know, some of you, you could be taking on this energy yourself. I don't know. Find where you fit in the story. And if you can't find anywhere that you fit in the story or the storyline, then it's not your reading. Okay. No pressure. Awesome. So uh, clarifying the sun card, the shine card is the seven of pentacles. So like I said before, I think I was saying it's like you're coming out of this energy of really having to, to fight for something or just constantly being in conflict with the situation, with people, with the person, maybe even with yourself. And it's like as you're coming out of that, you're stepping into something that's a little bit more happy and content. And maybe you'll be recognized for something that you've been investing a lot of your, your time and your energy in. But I do feel like for a lot of you, you could be reevaluating what makes you happy as well. You know, so for some of you, you're getting something that you're, you're finally getting seen, recognized, rewarded, or you're getting happiness with, in regards to something that you've invested a lot of time in, something that you've been wanting, something that you've been planting your seeds for. And then for others of you, this is the energy of taking a step back and just kind of reevaluating what makes you happy, what makes you shine, what is your truth and all of that. So once again, find where you fit. Um, every scenario can apply to the same people. 
um, clarifying the Nine of Cups is the reversed Hierophant. So I feel like you guys will probably be going against what you normally do. And now that I'm realizing it, this is five and these are five. So we do have five, five, five here. Um, so like I do feel like you've been going through like a lot of big change or you're in the midst of that um, or at the very beginning of it. But I feel like a lot of you have actually made your way through this 555 energy and you're you're about to come out on the other end of it. And I feel like when you do, you're going to be um, more sure of what makes you happy. You're going to be um, in a better space mentally, emotionally, energetically. And also I feel like you're going to end up getting something that you want either in a very unexpected manner or um, you're just going to get something that you really want by doing something different from what you normally do uh the reverse higher fit when it doesn't talk about someone who maybe has like commitment issues or um a, a poor um like moral value system when it's not talking about that it can definitely talk about going against the grain going against tradition going against what you normally do um and being happy with that and finding finding your own path with that finding what like i said what makes you happy what you want to do so once again take that however it resonates also we have with the reverse five of pentacles we have the lovers so like i said i do feel like for a lot of you you could be in like this crossroads energy where you have to really decide what it is that you want what direction you're going in and what you're going to do moving forward um for others of you like i said this is relationship matters and you could have definitely been involved in um, a relationship with somebody who's maybe not the most honest um and could you know definitely have commitment issues but other than that, um, I want to clarify this further, actually, now that I'm thinking about it. Why is the lovers here with the reverse side of pentacles? Some of you could be trying to, like, you know, heal yourself, pick yourself back up after some kind of uh, situation or relationship gone wrong. Um, I do feel like whatever this energy is, it has kind of, like, given you clarity and it's, like, inadvertently made you stronger. We have the reverse seven of wands now. So for some of you, this could kind of be like giving up on a connection or a situation. Now, Seven of Wands in Reverse can talk about, and then Bottom of Deck is Queen of Swords. So definitely some of you could be cutting out some things because we now have counterparts here. So some of you could definitely be cutting out some things. But um, sometimes the Seven of Wands can talk about just giving up, just being tired, just being exhausted. It's like, I don't even feel like fighting for this no more it's too much energy so for some of you you're definitely in that space which is why you can be in the seven of pentacles of reevaluating. like okay i'm not vibing with this shit no more so what's next that kind of thing um okay so i'll leave that there and can i get three extra cards of insight and guidance for um sagittarius can i get three more cards of insight and guidance for sagittarius yeah, there most likely was some kind of some somebody was caught doing something. Uh, somebody who, like I said, that reverse King of Swords energy, that reverse Hierophant energy, someone with um, honesty issues, someone with um, who just has a different belief or value system, or could maybe even lack one. But definitely, the Seven of Swords in Reverse talks about someone being caught, someone you know being caught in a deceptive act, whether that's cheating, whether that's lying, whether that's stealing someone doing something that they shouldn't be doing being caught and you know someone here having to reevaluate um as a result of that and also whoever this person is kind of brought some of that 555 energy which is conflict which is change um can i get two more cards of insight for sagittarius yep reverse six of swords okay so some of you could find it um, could be finding it hard to like move away from this energy because once again like there's a lot of baggage that needs to be unpacked that needs to be worked through here for some of you you're finding it hard to leave behind the conflict um, finding it hard to just transition forward can I get one more card of insight for Sagittarius Knight of Cups in the reverse. Okay, there's a lot of reversals. And I just see a lot of insincerity here. So the reverse Knight of Cups can definitely be somebody who um, can be two-faced, can also be dishonest, um, or just someone who plays, like, a lot of games, or just someone who you can't rely on, you know? Queen of Swords at the bottom again. There could definitely be a maturity difference here for some of you. Why is this reverse Seven of Swords here for Sagittarius? will of fortune so like i said someone's 
less than like you know honest or righteous actions definitely are kind of ushering you into a new phase a new season okay Why is the reverse six of swords here for Sagittarius? Reverse sun card, like I said. So uh, whatever the situation is, it, it's caused a lot of grief. You know, it could definitely have been a drain on your energy. Could have put you in a state of depression. Just not being like yourself. Not really um, being in like your, your true essence. Your true, you know, light. It's like something here has definitely dimmed it or has been dimming it. And it does look like it could be, you know... Uh, a relationship a masculine energy um, or you could just be going through like again a very trying conflict oriented time in your life with this 555 this year what's this reverse sun energy about but there's definitely some things that need to be worked through because there's some resistance here to moving away from the bullshit you know so definitely a need to work through issues why is this reverse um, sun here for Sagittarius yeah the reverse four cups so if you were at any point like discontent with the situation but you did nothing about it if you were at any point you know turning a blind eye to a situation or just growing more and more discontent with it this queen of swords energy the strength card is kind of telling you to um kind of step into that power the queen of swords is somebody who doesn't really have patience for bullshit you know she's typically somebody who's already been through a lot and so she doesn't really have the tolerance or desire to be put through more shit so she kind of cuts it off um either before it happens or right when it happens because she's just like i don't have patience i don't have time i'm not i'm not going through it so definitely um in regards to you know this lack of happiness that i see here this lack of clarity that i see here this lack of you know being in your true essence and just having a lot of baggage to you know deal with and finding it hard to move away from the conflict is going to require a certain level of awareness um, once again of what's going on around you what makes you happy what you want and also a need for uh, confidence strength and boundaries the queen of swords is the queen of implementing boundaries uh, removing emotion and just doing what's necessary for her according to her judgment why is the knight of cups here in the reverse for sagittarius the reverse nine of wands so once again that reverse seven of swords they i mean not the reverse seven of swords the verse seven of wands that came out these are kind of the same to me uh where you're just tired you're tired you're fed up you're drained it's like i i don't have it in me to fight anymore the nine of wands and the reverse and in the upright is a wounded warrior you know it's been through the ringer and it's guarded for a reason and i do feel like you know for some of you this is you one being drained and two just being tired of whatever this battle or conflict or situation has been all right some of you could have could be manifesting some kind of new passion coming into your life um or i mean not, not new passion but like a new connection just uh some something emotionally fulfilling could be coming in for you guys as well um give me one minute sorry about that um, okay, what was I clarifying? I think I was talking about the Nine of Wands in reverse. So the Nine of Wands in the reverse and the Seven of Wands in reverse are kind of giving me the same kind of energy, which is like, I'm tired of fighting. I'm tired of the battle. Um, and just, you know, giving up on it because it doesn't really look like the other person or people involved are giving the same energy anyway. Um, why is the reverse Seven of Swords here with the Lovers, the Five of Pentacles in the reverse for Sagittarius? yeah eight of swords being stuck feeling stuck in a situation feeling trapped in it feeling trapped in your own mind um just feeling bound feeling drained feeling tired reevaluating everything as a result of that finding dif finding it difficult to like transition and move forward and to leave all of this behind because it looks like a lot has happened and it's taken its um toll on you know your energy your essence like who you really are and i do feel like it's been like um messing with your mental health in some way shape or form you know causing you to maybe doubt yourself be in a place of fear feeling victimized or just overall feeling restricted and trapped in something and 
you know um, I feel like the crossroads is if you're going to continue with it or if you're going to move away from it because it does look like you know for a lot of you you're entering into a new cycle so um, but this does look like an unhappy personal situation maybe you know domestic um, for some of you this could be like this reverse six of swords, it could be delays in travel. So it could be that, you know, for some of you, you want to get out of this space. You want to physically move, but um, for some reason you're unable to. That could also apply. Uh, do we have any more insights for Sagittarius? Yep, stepping into, you know, your power. If, you know, you're on this... Um, side of the reading that feels a little disempowered or unsure of yourself or finding it hard to transition you do have some decisions to make and this will require you to like get out of your comfort zone the two of wands it, it can talk about like uh, long distance travel but it talks about the planning stages the decisions the decision phase where it's like you're lining things up once again reevaluating planning your path your next action steps where you're going what you're doing after this one more card for Sagittarius but definitely um, needing to expand or go, needing to go in the direction of happiness and expansion because um, it doesn't look like that's where you currently are or have been so far. And then reverse Ace of Swords. So once again, freeing yourself from the stepping into your power um, and just kind of like. I don't want to say blossoming, but it's kind of like getting yourself out of this trapped space. So you got a card. You have cards here talking about feeling tired and restricted. Then you have the trap card, which is the Eight of Swords coming out in the reverse, indicating freeing yourself from the ties that bind you and the things that keep you stuck. And then spreading your wings here is like literally stepping into your power and flying the fuck away from whatever this is. Um, what's this? The Nine of Swords. I mean, no, the Nine of Wands, my bad. The Nine of Wands is in the reverse again here. So definitely exhausted, tired, fatigued with whatever conflict that you've been dealing with in regards to a particular situation or connection in your life. Uh, can I get three cards of more insight, guidance, divine guidance for Sagittarius? Yeah, you're turning away from something or you're being called to. Can I get one more card for Sagittarius? Divine Guidance. Solitude. Yeah, it looks like, you know, you'll be more focused on yourself for a while. You'll you'll find your new flow. But definitely, if something feels forced, don't force it. Go with the flow. Go where life is trying to guide you. The Wheel of Fortune is coming in. Like I said, entering a new cycle. Try to go with the flow of that new cycle. Okay. Hold on. I dropped a card. And breaking free. That's what fell out. Sorry if I keep hitting this, my bad. Um, yes, turning away from something, breaking free, and just stepping into your own power, independence, solitude, whatever. Uh, what's this go with the flow energy for Sagittarius? Calling a truce. <laughs> Calling a truce is like, you know what? I'm good. Waving a red flag. I'm out. It's that kind of energy. And then ironically enough, I never see this this way. This is, I just did that, but I wasn't thinking. It kind of looks like this, like chucking up the deuces, going with the flow. That card never means that. That's not what that card means, but that's kind of what I got from it. Uh, why do we have solitude here for Sagittarius? I feel like either you're going to be alone for a while, and I feel like for a lot of you, it'll be self-imposed. Um... But solitude looks like it's required for some of this next phase. Yeah. So you may be um, going towards something completely new by yourself. A leap of faith, though. It's, it, it looks optimistic. Why is turn away here for Sagittarius? Yeah, turn away. Cutting some things out because you have clarity now. You have truth now. You see things clearly now. And you have a new start. You have new energy that's trying to come in. What is breaking free? Yeah. Breaking free from the things that don't make you happy, that don't emotionally fulfill you, things that, you know, ultimately disappoint you. Or the situation it does. Bottom of the deck is Ace of Cups. You have a lot of aces here. Um, wait. 
well not a lot of aces but enough aces to know that there's a new beginning actually no because i kind of consider the fool to be ace potential so whatever so yes you do have like a lot of new energy that's trying to come in for you um i do feel like in the beginning of this new start or season you will probably be if not literally in solitude you'll be more withdrawn into yourself um any more insights for Sagittarius? Yeah, you definitely feel like something in regards to a relationship of some kind was a failure. One more card. Indecision. Some of you could... Um, some of you could be battling with yourself, feeling indecisive over what decision to make. Like I said, we do have the lovers here. The two of swords, it does talk also about a crossroads. And then the two of wands does too. So five, 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 two, two, two are very um, strong energies in your, in your cards. Um, was this a card I was going to take out? I don't remember. So I'm not even going to. Um, bottom of the deck, peace. I'm definitely saying... Or I feel like the guidance here is to go towards the new, go towards happiness, go towards peace, go towards expansion, okay? Um, want something new, got to try something different, right? So can we clarify failure for Sagittarius? Why is failure here? Okay. Got the nine of swords. Whatever the situation was, it either did or is causing like a lot of stress. Maybe even, you know, sadness, depression for some of you, things to keep you up at night. Um, this situation could have had a lot of obstacles, blockages, just caused a lot of frustration, a lot of mental and emotional turmoil, not really growing or expanding in the way that it needs to. Definitely needing to close out this cycle. I feel like there were a lot of obstacles and frustration in regards to you having success in whatever the situation is. But um, I feel like the situation itself fits what I just said, but I also feel like you know, the failure of whatever the situation is, is kind of like blocking you in a way because it's keeping you in like a negative or a lower vibrational space. We also have the Nine of Pentacles, which is another card talking about, you know, being self-made, stepping into a better energy, stepping into an independent, solitary energy as well. The Reverse Eight of Wands, this could be talking about blocking communication. Uh, some of you could be getting delayed news, but I definitely see this as kind of like, also, um, this could definitely be like blocking something or no longer moving forward with a certain situation or energy. You could be blocking communication from people, um, like I said, or receiving delayed news for some of you. Is there something else I get from this? Yeah. And just, you know, kind of slowing down, like not rushing as well. Why is relationships here for um, Sagittarius? Yeah, I feel like you're dropping one. Something here was just the, the burden was a little bit too heavy to carry. Why is indecision here for Sagittarius? Mm -hmm. The devil, the ten of pentacles in the reverse, the queen of cups, the magician. Um, There definitely could have been emotional manipulation at play here, but whatever the situation is, Maybe it was a long-standing situation, but it, there was never, like, consistent success. The Reverse Ten of Pentacles talks about fleeting success, things you can't rely on, things that aren't solid enough to last, or things that collapse due to dysfunction, due to, you know, inner demons, outer demons, um, just heavier, denser energies that you have to work through that could, you know, pose as barriers or obstacles to... You know, long-term success, stability, happiness, longevity of a relationship or a situation. It's kind of like, you know, something here was blocking the ability for this Ten of Pentacles to be in the upright, which is solid in going for the long haul. Um, I got emotional manipulation just because we have so many deceptive cards here. And then the Queen of Cups came out with the Magician. Uh, for those of you where emotional manipulation was not a thing here, I definitely feel like um, your intuition could be trying to come through in regards to what to do next. Um, you could be receiving intuitive, like, insights, communication. Um, some of you, could, like I said, you could be receiving delayed news about something. But, yeah, I do feel like the indecision is about whatever this situation or relationship is. And I do feel like you'll get out of it sooner rather than later. 
Um, you just have to get right with yourself, right? Uh, can we clarify peace for Sagittarius? Why is peace here? Yeah, putting down the sores, walking away from the conflict. Just overall not feeling like it's worth it anymore. There could be some lingering resentments here for someone, though. Um, which is understandable. It does look like a lot of, uh, like I said, conflict, chaos, turmoil. So, But clarifying peace, definitely trying to release negative energy and get over whatever resentments may be, you know, lingering. And this card keeps wanting to show itself, the Six of Wands. So like I said, I do feel like you will be ultimately victorious over whatever this is. But your energy is just a little bit off balance right now. But I feel like once you get that right and you're right with yourself, everything else will kind of fall into place. So last but not least, do we have any more insights, guidance for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North and South Node? past life relationship um was it this is yeah past life relationship like i said um for those of you you can have a new kind of connection coming in but for some of you you know the situation was just so uh because you could have definitely been playing out past life energies or themes within this situation or connection which is why its effect on you has been so um big or impactful for better for worse um past life connections do that you know um any more insights keep an open mind that full energy you know keeping an optimistic faith-based outlook being willing to do something new something different which typically isn't a problem for Sagittarius because you guys are mutable and you can be very very adventurous very very open-minded um so it's a matter of just stepping back into that or you know evolving into that one more card for Sagittarius. Heart to heart conversation. So like I said, some of you may have some people blocked and you may be receiving some delayed communication in some way, shape or form. Um, bottom of the deck is soulmate. So for a lot of you, this was personal, one on one, close, heart based connections. OK, for some of you. Yeah, I'm not even going to say that because I feel like I covered it already. Um, I'll clarify some of these. Clarify past life relationship. Yeah. Strong connection with somebody not the most um, honest, loyal, reliable, etc. Why is keep an open mind here for Sagittarius? Keep an open mind to the possibilities. You know, you may have a lot of, like I said, there's a lot. You're entering into a new cycle. You have a few aces here, so you could definitely have some new things coming in. And you may have a lot of options, a lot of things to choose from. So definitely keep an open mind with that. Clarify heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Why is it here for Sagittarius? The first page of Pentacles. If conversations do happen, you do if if conversations do happen from this point on or have been happening or they come in in a delayed way, I don't know how interested you'll be in having those conversations, but they could definitely be on the way to you even if you reject them. Judgment, use your better judgment in regards to this situation. Um for those of you where, you know, this situation is trying to resurrect itself, do what's best for you use your own discernment but it looks like whatever this was was kind of unhealthy this card keeps wanting to show itself so i do feel like you're stepping into a happier space i do feel like you're going to get some kind of emotionally fulfilling new beginning or the possibility of it whether that's through a person whether that's through you know a new venture that you get into or you know just a, getting into a new space in regards to your relationship with yourself i feel like there's something new here that's going to bring you a certain level of happiness and contentment um, why is soulmate here for Sagittarius? You could definitely have somebody new coming in though, but I feel like in the meantime, you kind of got to work on you, right? The reverse empress can talk about somebody who can have like self-worth issues or just somebody who's just been totally depleted and, and needs to rebuild from within. Um, why is this empress in the reverse, reverse side of the wands here? Yeah, you're you're definitely going to be trying to adapt. It does feel like there's a lot going on. So bottom of the deck is three of swords. Um, whatever this is, it looks like it was a very whew, overwhelming, disappointing, sad, restricting, 
undermining to your your happiness your mental emotional spiritual health um but like i said i feel like once you kind of get in tune with your own self your own star player i feel like um a lot of these fives are in the reverse so for those for some of you that'll be feeling like stuck in the energy feeling like once again unable to like transition away from the conflict but for a lot of you um this just means that the storm is is passing and you know the dust is settling now and you're recalibrating you're adapting regardless of the pain and the disappointment you're making it through so um this is pretty much it i think i've pretty much clarified every card here um i hope that this resonated sagittarius hope that you liked it any feedback is uh appreciated and i will see you sooner rather than later in my next video thank you so much for your support and bye